Hey, Bolo Buddies, it is time for This Is My Bolo. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, these videos are coming from my featured members, members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So this is a bonus video, and it's super awesome because you get to hear from them directly. They're going to show you their Bolo. They're going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And if you like this format, I have two other videos that are just like this with um, some of the same people, but also different people. So go check that out. Um, some big money bolos coming your way. I think you guys are really gonna like this style of video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I am gonna start with my bolo. So here we go. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start this out with this is my bolo. And I wasn't planning on doing this tonight, so I didn't even get ready. So I apologize for that, but this is just too cool. I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. Do you see that Barbie tag right there, the black and white one? That is what you're looking for. Those are the items that are going to bring big money. All right. So this came out of a dibble box and I got these out of a mystery toy box from Auctions for You and they're little Barbie sunglasses. So the same person added them to their cart. They got my combined shipping offer of $5 and they were all in for $69.30 and um, for the two items, but with tax and shipping, that brought them up to $74.30. and Hey everyone, Stuart with Franklin Hill Ventures, and this is my bolo. It is this vintage Warner day and night mechanical brooch. And if you move the little leaf shown here, these petals open and close, very cool. I didn't know anything about it, don't know a lot about jewelry, but found this in a box of things that I purchased really for next to nothing. So my cost in this is probably around a dollar and it sold for $400. So even with free shipping, insurance and signature required at delivery, this was one of the best items that I've sold in a while. So if you see these type of brooches when you're out, make sure you pick them up. They're definitely a bolo. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else has to show. Everyone, good luck with your hunting and let's keep finding those bolos. Hey, how you doing? I'm Danielle and I'm an eBay reseller and I have a YouTube channel called Yard Sales and Dreams. I'd love for you to go over and check out my YouTube channel about reselling after you're done watching this video, of course. I am bringing you a picture of my bolo right here and I'm gonna show it to you in real life in just a second. But I wanted to tell you, I picked this up for $3 and I sold it for 60. Right there's my bolo guys. This is a Whiting and Davis choker cameo locket. Look how gorgeous that cameo is when it shifts in the light. This was made in the 70s and this is made by Whiting and Davis. You can see their closure on the back of the choker. Gives you plenty of room to adjust. Their maker name is right there on the back. And Whiting and Davis made all sorts of accessories. So anytime that you see Whiting and Davis, you will see this mesh. I have an example here of a wallet that I have. That is their signature is the mesh. Thanks, Courtney. What's going on everybody? This is Scott, also known as Cha-Ching King, and I've got something really cool for you today, FFA jackets. If you have not been picking these up, you need to. They're blue, they're corduroy, they will often have the big patch on the back. These are going for $75 to $100 each. They have skyrocketed in price, but that's not even the real bolo. This is also an FFA jacket, and this one is what they call a sweetheart jacket. Before girls could join the FFA, a chapter could have a sweetheart, and their jacket was white, and these go for $300 to $500 a piece. In this condition, I would get $300 for it all day, every day. Keep your eyes open for them. I know they're out there. If you want more tips and things like that, visit me on Instagram or YouTube. It's cha King on both of them. Thank you again, Courtney, for letting me be a part of this. Keep your eyes open for FFA jackets. They are monster bolos. Thanks again. Bye. Hello everyone, Ciro here with Flipping It Good. Today my bolo are these right here. Uh, these are Calvin Klein, not a brand that I usually pick up, but these right here are special. 
They were designed by Raph Simmons, which is a fashion designer that has a, a big following base. He worked for Dior. Uh, now I think he's with Prada. And he had a brief agreement with Calvin Klein where he did a few, a few shoes. So if you see them pick them up, they're going for big money. This one right here sold for 310 plus shipping. Um, I got them for $50. And of course, I didn't know about this guy until I found these and researched about them. Uh, I found eight pairs, different styles, $50 each. And the first one sold for 410, uh, 420. The second one sold for 210. Now this one is selling for 310. So if you see them out there, pick them up. Uh, even you shoes are going for 100 plus. The way to identify his shoes with Calvin Klein is this number right here starts with 205. I know it's hard to see it, so I'm going to add it right here. So if you see them out there, pick them up. They're, they're great and they sell. So, all right, guys. So I have actually a video on my channel. If you want to see it, flipping it good. So see you guys on the next one. Hey, Bolo buddies. This is Christy and this is my Bolo. So it's a very small container of L'Oreal Air Dry It Wave Swept Spray. Got this at my local dirt cheap. I paid less than $2 each and I got a bunch of them. So here's what I sold them for. Sold them in packs of five. I sold uh, two sets for $59.99. I sold three sets for $67.99. And they're actually also going on Amazon for two for $55. Two, these little things right here for $55. Um discontinued health and beauty that's where it's at and if you would like to see more discontinued or hard to find health and beauty check out my channel money making mama thanks squirt for doing this bye guys hey it's Rhonda from got junk in our trunk and today this is my bolo i'm coming to you from my junk and garage as you can see i've just come back from the bins and I found one of these. This is a General Electric brand. There's different brands of them. A General Electric brand lighted makeup mirror. It's from the 70s. And let's just see if it works. Ah. This I found at the bin store for $2. Um, usually I don't pay more than 5 for them. But I had a buyer to purchase this right away as soon as I got it listed. I listed it at $49.99 and it sold for that price. And the buyer was all in at $66. Usually I end up um, selling these pretty much within the week. Making up, it's easy to do. Hi everybody, my name is Carol and my channel name is Butterfly Hustles and it's Butterfly Hustles on Instagram, so if you'd like to follow me, I do reseller content, mainly thrifting videos and hauls. But I wanted to show you, this is my bolo. This is my bolo, this Peter Millar Masters button-down shirt. This is what you have to look for, is this, this little emblem here, and that's the Masters series for Peter Millar. I bought this at Goodwill for $5 and I sold it for $100. So that was a good flip. And thank you so much, Courtney, for doing these. These are so fun and you work so hard on your channel. Thank you for watching. Hey, Bow Buddies, thanks for watching. Courtney, thank you for all you do. Um, just wanted to show you an item that my grandson and I picked up in LA at a Salvation Army this last week when I was on time away. And probably a lot of you might be familiar with this, but you're familiar with seeing them in sets. So this is a, a Matryoshka Russian artist signed hand-painted babushka baker nesting doll single and there you have it now my grandson who is eight found this on the shelf at the salvation army in los angeles and he said nanny you could sell this and he was correct 
this has got one it's only one bottle was it part of a set i have no clue i could find no other ones this size so i put in the description because they sell some they make some of these specifically to hold liquor bottles this is about the size that would hold a single serve liquor bottle so there is your artist signature if you can read that you're one up on me um just take really good pictures I paid 99, we paid 99 cents, no tax. Salvation Army and the Goodwill in LA do not have tax. Don't ask me why. I paid 99 cents for this. It sold the day after I listed it. One doll, you got that? One doll for $37.80. And I believe it is going right back down to California. So there you go. Russian nesting dolls. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, Bolo Buddies, my name is Crystal Nichols. Thank you guys so much for having me here. I am fairly new and I'm very excited to share my first Bolo for January. Um, I kind of didn't think I was gonna have one to share. So I was so super happy when this cell came through. It is a Draper James dress. So if you don't know, Draper James is Reese, Reese Witherspoon's clothing line. Um, they are very nicely made and expensive. So resale value is great. I picked this up at Goodwill for $7.99 and it sold today for $51.99, uh, this beautiful cocktail dress. So, so my YouTube channel is The Thrifty Nichols and my eBay store is The Nichols Dime Store. So I like puns just a little bit, um, if you can't tell. So hop on over and subscribe. My YouTube channel is all about selling online and my local vintage booth in an antique small. So um, just something a little bit different. So I hope you guys subscribe and I'll do the same for you. Thanks so much, bye. Hi everybody, my name is Sandra. The name of my YouTube channel is The Funky Pickle Thrifter. So I have been selling on eBay since 1998. I know a lot about vintage jewelry. I know a lot about selling jewelry. So if you're interested in that, check it out. But my bolo for today is actually kind of pop culture music items. If you don't know how to sell them, I can show you that too. One thing that I always tell people is try to buy music that you think is cool. Perry Como, maybe not so cool. Andy Williams, not cool. Beatles, cool. Zeppelin, cool. Rolling Stones, cool. Early hip hop and rap can also sell for some money. So that's sort of my bolo. And I just want to mention, I did sell this empty Beatles ice cream box for $1,800 last week. That was pretty good. I paid $25 for it many, many years ago at a Beatles convention. Anyhow, I truly hope you will come to my YouTube channel and check it out. All right. Nice to meet you, everybody. Have a great day. Hello, everyone. Hello, Bolo Buddies. Hello, Courtney. Here is Ali with Toledo Antique. And today I want to show you guys our Bolo. Our Bolo is very unusual. It's a set of four mugs that we forget to list together with the whole set. The whole set sold for $99 and when we found the mugs, we listed them for $29.99 and end up selling for $100. 64 and 50 cents those are the mugs those are called arabia uh, those are mugs from finland and i'll show you guys the marking here so this is an incredible bolo four mugs for 164 50 cents be on the lookout for that and don't forget to like and subscribe to lido antique here on youtube and instagram and facebook i hope to see you guys soon guys thank you Hi, my name's Tracy. I'm one half of Jack's Treasures on YouTube and on TikTok. And this, or these, are my bolos. Rats. Yes, rats. What is special about these rats is they are Ikea. And I have found that a lot of Ikea plush, not all of them, but a lot of Ikea plush sell really well. These rats, which I actually have a set of four, I will be listing on eBay momentarily for $130 for the set. They tend to go for about $30 each. So I'm, you know, I'm asking a little bit more just for the fact that they're all lotted together. They'll go on sale, probably sell right at the sale price. Anyway, wraps, look for them. Jack's Treasures, see you around. Bye. Hey, Bolo Buddies. My name is Angie from Flippin' Palettes Liquidation and Auction Sales. 
My husband and I flip pallets for profit. We have an eBay store and we also sell live on our Facebook group page. I wanted to share with you this Bolo Wet n Wild Lip Balm Stain. We got over 4,000 of these on a pallet. The cost of goods was two cents a piece. Um, when I seen them, my first thought was they're wet and wild. I will never be able to sell these. So I put them on a Facebook group page for a dollar a piece and within 24 hours I sold 600 of them. So I decided to research a little better and come to find out they're highly sought after and after range, uh, and they're ranging in price from 10 to $28 a piece. So I put them in my eBay store. I only put a few in at a time because I find out that when people find these, they buy all you have so I can spread out my profits. Um, I have found these at a thrift store for 25 cents a piece and added them to my collection. Two of the most sought after colors are Rico Mave and Truffle in Paradise. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for having me. It's Tracy from 1987 Ventures. And my Bolo that I want to share with you is this pair of 1970s vintage bright red uh, pro head high top sneakers. These were in great condition. They were still in the original box. And I found these in a pile of stuff at an estate sale on the last day of a four day estate sale in literally the very last hour. They were getting ready to pack up. They were wrapping up. We were the last people there. And I found these and picked these up for $3. They sold on a best offer of $115 plus shipping. So I'm hoping that this person is proud of his new pair of kicks, even though they're very old. And I hope you enjoy the bolo I shared with you. Bye. Everybody, Donatella Badalino, Courtney, big shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for doing these and giving us shout outs. Okay, so I go live on YouTube almost every day of the week, sometimes twice a day. I sell to the collector. I sell to the consumer. I sell everything from crayons to crystal. I buy pallets. I buy storage units. I buy estate sales. I got a call from one of my viewers who was in distress. She was leaving for New York the next day, had two storage units. She was an eBay seller. She said, please come help me and I'll give you some merchandise that you can auction off on your YouTube channel. I went over there. I was able to combine both those storage units into one, helped her an entire day. I did walk away with some treasures. This is one of the treasures that I got. It is a lemon press. You probably remember seeing these at the fair and it sold on eBay for $150. Pay it forward, guys. Sometimes it is so worth it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hi YouTubers, resellers, and thrifters. My name is Carrie. My channel here on YouTube is Be Carried Away. This is my bolo. This is a wooden box. It's made of olive wood and the little tiny pieces, the decorative pieces are porcupine quills from a porcupine. <laughs> this is a bolo. Now mine is small and I only sold it for $45.99, but it did go to the UK. So the buyer was all in for $80. Um, I priced, I underpriced it a little bit from another one that was very similar just because there were two and I wanted to get mine sold. There's another one listed for 60. On another day, I might have listed it for 60. The thing about these is some of these can be in the thousands and thousands of dollars. Some of the more uh, detailed, intricate ones and some that come from particular areas of the world. If you have, if you're able to um, authenticate where it's from, what region, et cetera, et cetera. Some of them go for thousands. So if you see anything wood with these little porcupine quills, pick it up. Hi, my name is Terry. I go by the name Mindful Recycle on my YouTube channel and in my eBay store. Today, my bolo that I'm gonna show you is a vintage Magnolite roaster pan. This one that I sold was really big and I purchased it for $12 and I sold it for $224 pretty quickly. It just took a couple of months. I just picked another one up at an estate sale, not as big, but this size is really popular. I think it's an eight quart. And so this is it. I've never seen one in this good a condition. It actually has a trivet in it as well. I've never sold one with a trivet. And so this size right now in not nearly as good a condition is selling between $175 and $200. So I'll probably list this for $199. 
and hopefully it won't take that long to sell. So keep your eyes out for these. I usually find them pretty often and they sell well and they are easy to ship. Hi, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I wanna to share one of my plush sales for this past month. Um, one that Courtney hasn't already featured in the member shares that she puts out for a lot of us. The item I'm gonna share with you, I have forgotten where I got it from or even how much I paid for it, but more than likely I picked it up at a thrift store or an estate sale because it was a recent find and I probably would have paid no more than $3 for it. But the item that I'm featuring is this Martian plush. It was large, 25 inches. I pick up all things that are aliens. For some reason they do really well for me. This one was from Green Impact Merchandise, and I sold it for $64.35. Hi, everyone. It's T. Auctions for you. Um, thank you, Courtney, for always doing this. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am T. Auctions for you. I do auctions on my channel, but I also am a reseller and sell on eBay, uh, Poshmark, and Macari. And... Uh, I do daily auctions with my friend Donatella Badalino. Um, we have uh, selling events where we bring the stuff to you so you don't have to leave the home and source. So be sure to follow us both. All right, let's see what I sold. I picked up this awesome lot of die cast in a um, toy store that I bought. And... Um, I had no idea what I had here. Um, I honestly almost put this in a toy box, but something just caught my eye with it. And I said, this just looks too special. Never heard a ground pounder before. I know what an, uh, a Ford Mustang is, but um, we, we put this out there for $1,100. Somebody actually had sold one, I think on a bid for about 800 and change. And somebody else had one listed um, a lot, a lot higher. I, I want to say, uh, probably 15 to $1,900. I don't remember exactly. Um, so we kind of, uh, put it out there for 1100 and within 24 hours, I had an offer, which I took a best offer on this of $950 plus a shipping cost of $16.95 and he happened to only be in the next state. So that worked out really well. He was very happy. I got positive feedback from him. But if you guys are ever out looking for, this is called Ground Pounder. It's um, a GMP Fox body. And then what well, this one was a 1989 Ford Mustang. Uh, 1 18th scale die cast. Die cast sells really well, guys. If you are um, out looking and sourcing, always pick up die cast. It really does sell well. All right. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next auction. Hello, everybody. Shiro with Flipping It Good here. My bolo today is uh, toys. I usually, what, what I like to do is uh, I go to yard sales and they always have like tops full of uh, toys. I just buy, I buy the whole top. Usually I ask how much you want and then I give them offer sometimes. So uh, I got to this yard sale late. I think they were already like putting stuff inside their house. And there was this top, big top full of Disney characters. So I asked her how much you want for the top. They said $10. I brought it home and I found these five right here. These are uh, Disney's from Aristocats movie, and they sold for $100 plus shipping. The whole top cost me $10, and that's what I like to do. I, If you go to my store, I have uh, lots of figures. It can be Marvel, Disney, whatever, but I like to get the tops full of toys, and then I load them up by movies, uh, like these five. These five sold for $100. That was amazing. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for.
amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.